Hello, Jester Good here, and today I'm reviewing the Lego The Angry Birds movie set, The Piggy Planet's Hack. It has 168 pieces, two minifigures, and it retails for $20 in the United States. Now let's take a look at those minifigures. So here's Red, and this is actually the cheapest way to get him, though he comes in just about every other set besides the smallest set. The design of him is actually pretty cool. It's made out of a few different molds all put together so that you only get this minifigure in the set. You get it already produced. You don't get any separate molds. But you can see, I believe the arms are separate molds with uh, this little uh, back body and the front body kind of put together for a separate mold. Uh, but that's just produced in the factory. So you can't take that apart. There's lots of nice coloring all around him. And he does have this kind of worried type look, which is kind of interesting because in all other sets, he has an angry look. So it's cool that this is the cheapest way to get red and also the only way you can get a non-angry red. So here is the piggy pilot. He's actually really funny. I, I do like the look of him. He has a little piggy scarf, uh, some goggles. He's probably one of the most detailed of the pig minifigures. And just like every minifigure basically in the set they appear in, he is exclusive. He also has printing on the back of him, which is pretty nice. And the molding itself actually uses minifigure arms, while the whole body right here seems to be assembled in the factory with two different molds. But the whole thing comes pre-assembled as this one figure in the set. So the height of the two minifigures in the set are three bricks high, or about the size up to uh, a minifigure's torso. The two builds of the set is the piggy plane and the little catapult. So the piggy plane is a pretty mixed vehicle for me. Everything above the wheels looks great, and then the wheel section looks awful in my opinion. I don't like how far apart it is from the actual plane itself. It makes it look more like a car than anything. I know it's supposed to have kind of a, a sloppy put together look in the movie's context, uh, not really as a Lego set where there's a lot of cool designs on here. It's just those wheels that they should have done something that has closer uh, proximity to the actual plane itself for landing gear instead of using these T-axles and these these Technic pieces that kind of bring it apart from the vehicle. Other than that, like the actual plane itself, like I said, looks pretty cool. It gives off that very cartoony look that a lot of the other movie sets have. Uh, you have this front Nas, Nas, nose piece that is actually used out of a basket piece, which I think is actually some clever part usage. I really like how they did that. And you can see there's actually some cool designs where they use these one by one clipped pieces with studs on them to give it a more detailed nose look. The propeller is just kind of attached to the front like that. On the side, they actually put some balloons, which the most interesting part of the balloons is that they use a new mold altogether, which is kind of a pointless mold, but I guess it makes it more sturdy than anything. You just kind of take this apart and you can see the new mold is this underside of the balloon right here. Uh, and you also get one of those in purple in this set, which is kind of pointless, like I said, but still it's pretty cool that they made a new mold for that. And then we have this back area, which of course is used to actually put the piggy on. There's no seat or anything because you can't make these minifigures sit down, but there's a little enough studs to kind of make the piggy pilot stand up like that. His only control is this little switch right here, which maybe he's a little bit too low to the actual uh, vehicle part, but still you could kind of make him reach the switch if you really position it just right and move the switch around. But uh, the rest of the design actually holds four eggs right here. There's a little nest that's included. You could easily just take the nest off and you can see four of the egg pieces is actually pretty good because it is a new mold altogether that a lot of people seem to really like this line just for. There's also some printed pieces, which are these little planks right here. And you actually get four of those in the set. Two of them are used on this plane build right here. And that's actually a really cool print. And this set actually uses no stickers whatsoever. And to add some variation and not make it symmetrical, they add this kind of exhaust pipe that goes all the way under the wings and to the tail right here on the back of the vehicle, which is pretty silly looking, but uh, still pretty cool looking with a little puff of air coming out, it looks like. So that's it for the whole design of the Piggy Pilot uh, plane, which honestly, there's one thing I didn't mix this out, which is these little flick whistles. And you just flick them and then they shoot out like that. And that's really the only play feature with this vehicle, which is a little bit odd that this theme is kind of lacking play features with the smaller sets. But let's go on to the other build in this set. So here is a little catapult included in the set, the only other build in the set. And there's some printed plank pieces on there as well. And it's a very simple build, but it looks really cool. I do like the uh, effort they put in this little side build. And there's also another one of those basket pieces, which is also included in the set in the same color. And so the whole play feature of this is you're supposed to launch red at the piggy plane. But honestly, I'm not sure that's a good play feature, and I'll show you why. So you launch him like that, and it's going to be really hard to kind of get him to hit the plane. But 
what's the point of this? There's nothing that falls over. There's nothing that's supposed to be uh, break, broken or anything once you knock him onto the plane. So it seems like a waste of, of inclusion of this set. Why did they include this? There's there's no point of them including this. So it's a really weak launching feature, and it kind of makes the set, I don't know, not so good. So we'll go to that in the final verdict, but now let's take a look at the box and the instruction manual. So here's the box of the set. It looks nice, but one thing I forgot to mention with the other set is that they have this little zapper function, which if you get the app, it unlocks something in the app itself once you scan that little uh, design right there. So that's kind of interesting. I wonder how that will play out. And here's the back of the box. So the instruction booklet itself has some nice advertisements on the back. And you can see they showed a little play feature, which is really not much of a play feature. And advertise it there. And for all the sets. So overall, in my opinion, this is like a weak version of the Piggy Car Escape, which isn't the greatest set in its own right. This one is basically the same. It doesn't have much play features. And they added this catapult, which would be cool. It looks cool and everything. It's a nice catapult. Kind of harkens back to the original Angry Birds mobile game where you would use a slingshot to launch it. Well, this one has a play feature of launching red, but what's the point of launching him? There's nothing that breaks here, nothing gets destroyed, nothing falls off. And if you want to knock over the minifigure, well, he's kind of secured on there, so I don't think there's really enough strength to do that. So it just seems like a pointless addition to the set. There's lots of nice pieces in this set for adult collectors, so that's kind of cool. There's four eggs, four printed planks, which look really nice as new prints, and two new balloon undersides. So that's all nice, but the play feature in this edition right here is absolutely pointless. And then these little wheels on the bottom look super odd. I do like everything above the wheels. It gives that nice raggedy look to the plane, but the wheels on the bottom, I don't know why they added those, because it makes it too much raised from the ground, so it just looks kind of like a car more than a plane. So I don't know. I'm not liking that. I'll give this set a C because it just doesn't seem like a good set compared to other sets. And then on its own, there's not much interesting to it besides some nice pieces. And while the build for the plane is cool, the bottom kind of ruins it for me. So that's it for now. Hope you guys enjoyed this review and I'll see you guys later.